a very warm welcome to Sea Time Church Online. My name is Spiriti Murungi. It's a joy for me to just give the bread of life, to share the bread of life. Every time I share the word of God, I, I personally get inspired, healed, transformed, encouraged. As I bless you with the word, I also get the blessing. So today I am here because some of the many questions I have received as a pastor uh, during my journey of being a shepherd to God's people is that does it mean that God has special children that he answers their prayers? Then there are people who ask, uh, come and say, I think this, this situation is too hard and difficult for God. And when we look at scripture, we see incidences that his children had almost lost hope and given up and situations had stayed for years and years on end without changing. And sometimes when God's people come to me and they are discouraged, hopeless, and they have given up, I do not blame them. I want to understand where they have come from, their journey, the period of their challenge. And you see, for example, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27, it is a season when the children of God had endured, the children of Israel had endured a long period of battles and since seasons of trouble with the enemies and their enemies were pursuing them and they in exile and then I, I mean God sends his prophets in a time when some false prophets were coming and telling them God is going to get you out of this place and in Jeremiah chapter 29 we see uh, I mean God coming and telling them I know the plans I have for you my mark you uh, they they stayed in exile after that for 70 years so God is telling Jeremiah, go tell these people, those other prophets who are telling them lies, it is not true. But you know what? In the place of exile, in the place of captivity, I, God, will bless my people. So tell them to look out for the good even when they are in exile. And we see in chapter 32, verse 27, the prophet say, speaking on behalf of God and God speaking through the prophet to his people, he says, behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? You know, there is nothing that is impossible for God. In fact, God thrives in dealing with the impossibilities. Where our possibilities come to an end and they become impossibilities, then God picks them up. Because then, that is when we can see his divinity revealed, his sovereignty revealed. He shows up and shows off. So he, he comes to his people and tells them, I know you might be giving up on that situation and this season of being in captivity, but there is nothing that is difficult for me. Whatever I told you, whatever I spoke to you will come to pass. My promises to you cannot be thwarted. They cannot be hindered. They cannot be stopped by a season. It doesn't matter how long you have been in that period, that season of suffering, God's word stands sure and firm. I'm here to tell you that your impossibility is God's possibility. And therefore receive hope and strength for today. May God help you to understand and to see him come through for you. My prayer is that one of these fine days you'll come to our inbox section and say, Pastor, um, God did it for me. God bless you. May the Lord attend to your every single need in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. God bless you.